Hi everyone. A week ago, I announced my brand new course, Docker and Kubernetes, the practical guide. Well, this course is out now. And below the video, in the video description, you of course find a link with a very attractive discount where you can get this course right now. Of course, if you are an Academine Pro subscriber, this course was already added to your membership and you can dive right in and start learning Docker and Kubernetes right now. Now, Docker and Kubernetes, in case you don't know, are basically technologies, you could say, technologies and concepts that help you work with so-called containers. And containers then again are basically small units in software development, small packages, you could say, which contain both your code, your application code, and that's the important thing, all the things, all the tools, the entire environment which is needed to reliably execute that code. So if you're building a Node.js application, for example, a container would not just contain your code, your source code, but it would also contain Node.js so that wherever you take that container, you can run your application in exactly that state with exactly that Node.js version you packed into that container. And that, of course, is super useful because it gives you a lot of reproducibility and reliability. You can package your container once and then run it on any machine you want. And you will never have that case where you built something and it worked on your machine, but it doesn't work on the machine you deployed it to, for example. With containers, you won't have that problem. Well, and Docker is a tool for creating and managing these containers. In this course, you're going to learn all about containers and Docker from the ground up. You don't need to know anything about them. You don't even need to know what I just told you. And you will learn it step by step. You will learn how to build your own containers and images, how to manage data there, how to persist data, how to set up networking and let containers communicate with each other. And you're also going to see how to deploy your Dockerized applications, how to deploy your containers in this course at the example of AWS. Now, that's just a part of the course though. It's the Docker and Kubernetes course. And Kubernetes is not just an afterthought. Instead, a huge chunk of this course is focused on just Kubernetes. And you will learn all about that as well. You will learn what it is, why you might need it, and how you can use it. And you will also learn how to deploy your Kubernetes cluster. Now, this course is called the Practical Guide because I don't just show you a bunch of slides and theory. Instead, we have a lot of small demos and examples and dummy projects. We're not going to write any code in this course. It's not a course where you learn a programming language. You also don't need to know a specific programming language for the course. Instead, this is a course where you will learn about Docker, write a lot of Docker commands, and write a lot of configuration files. But I will give you a lot of concrete small examples where you can see how you would Dockerize this Node app or this Laravel app. These are examples we'll dive in in this course. So by the end of the course, you will know what Docker and Kubernetes are, how and why you might want to use them, and you will be able to apply that knowledge to any project you might want to Dockerize. So I would love to dive into this course together with you. As mentioned, you find links with discounts below the video, and well, hopefully, see you in the course.